Hello, uh, so I'm going to show you how we do our exercise on the FIFA uh, 2018 uh, dataset. Um, so here I have uh, the questions. So the first thing is we have to upload the dataset into Tableau. And then we are going to do this uh, analysis. So for this first uh, video, we are going to do the first, the second, the third, fourth, and five question. Okay. So we are going to do a graph geographic distribution of the players, and nationality wise analysis, country and clubs with the best aggregate player ratings, and player earnings at top club, and then player age variations. So the first thing is that we go here in Tableau and we are going to upload our data set. So it's a point CSV. So we have to go to uh, text file. And just we have to look for our uh, file here and just upload it. So I have already uploaded, so I'm not going to do it, but it's just open and it will be fine. So once you open it, you have something like this. It should be showing all your data. If it doesn't, it's because uh, the formatting on your CSV is not uh, appropriate. So you have to go here and click on the little arrow just um, next to the data set. And you're going to just modify the properties of the text file. So here you're going to tell them, tell Tableau that your separator is a uh, semicolon and not other. And you just uh, set your original parameters as you like. So this is the first thing. So now I have uh, all my variables on the columns and the lines with the data points. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is a regional analysis. So the very first thing we need to do is to uh, set our variable nationality into a geographical variable. So I have it already here done. Um, and what is important here is that sometimes uh, some regions or country are not um, are not identified by Tableau. So you have to be sure that uh, all your data and the names that you have for your countries are uh, coinciding with uh, the Tableau data set so that it will recognize. So for doing that, you just need to um, go here. So I'm going to show you the first analysis. So the first thing is we are going to do a, a, a nationwide distribution analysis to see how many players do we have by country. So when you have issues with your data, um, here you will have, for example, some countries that wouldn't be showing uh, the data. Um, so I already changed this, but before England was not uh, in my data set because he didn't understand that England was part of their United Kingdom. So I have to do this. So normally when I have, uh, when you have data that didn't coincide, that didn't match with the Tableau uh, geolocalization codes, you will have here um, some kind of uh, alert saying that there are seven or I don't know how many uh, values that uh, Tableau didn't recognize. So if you don't have it, it's okay. So you just go to um, car, uh, map here um, and you're going just to put a modify place. Um, so here you have, uh, for example, this uh, first was the values that I had to modify. So in my data, these are the values original values and I had to uh, change it for the codes that uh, Tableau accepted. So for example, England, Northern Ireland and Scotland and Wales were uh, part of the United Kingdom. So I have just to change this for United Kingdom and the same for 
China, uh, Republic of Korea and Macedonia. So I have to change it. And now Tableau recognize is a country. Okay, so the first question was just to, um, so I have it here, but I'm going to show you how it's done. So we want to see by country, how many uh, players do we have? So as you see, uh, I have here a, a map where I have my countries, thanks to the Tableau uh, generated longitude and latitude. And I have uh, colors showing the uh, dispersion of or distribution or of my uh, players for country, um, I mean, by nationality. So what we need to do is just, um, I'm going to just do it again. So what I need to do is just, I'm going to grab nationality and I'm going to put it on here. Um, so it's going to detect that is uh, so regions and he's going to generate longitude and latitude for my regions. And then I want to see how many people I have. So I just can pick, for example, the ID of the player. Uh, so the ID is just uh, the number that is unique for each player. So it's the best way to count how many players I have. So I just need, so I have my um, ID here. And what I'm going to say is that um, I want to have uh, as a measure the mean. So I just click on the little button here and I'll say I want the mean and I just put it on color. So. Um, so now the, the map is going to show me uh, the colors uh, showing how many um, do I have. So I have to change here and I just need to say the total. <laughs> so I have accounting here for ID and I'm giving it um, a color for how many uh, players do I have per country. So it means that the more uh, dark the blue is, then the more players I have with this nationality. And I can play just with my colors. And um, for example, I can say, no, I don't like blue. <laughs> and I want just to change for red. Um, so I just select red and it will change it to red. So I'm going to stay with blue because I like blue. Okay, so this is the first question. We were just to, wanted to see um, like how they were organized in terms of um, size. But we can also like try to um, see by country uh, how many uh, um, players do we have and just see it by uh, like a size of the of the ball here. So you have each ball has um, well a number of uh, players, and so you don't see the 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 text, but you can see it here. Is because it's too small to to have the the whole uh, name for the country. So you can have it's really interesting, and then you can also do like for example grouping. Uh, then you have to create a new variable creating uh, regions, for example, and we can have, for example, Europe, Asia and um, America, for example, to see uh, how distributed they are. But let's say that the better way is to have my map. Now, if I want to see also, uh, instead of seeing just the colors, but seeing the dimension um, so the, the number of players I have, but, uh, like with that kind of, um, size, so I can just use here in, in the dashboard, uh, Tableau propose, uh, using a map with, uh, with symbols. So I can use this and then I have the same thing, just that, uh, the size is represented by a circle. So the bigger the circle is, the, the more uh, players I have from that nationality. 
Okay, so now what we want to do is to see um, kind of uh, the same thing, but we want to see um, uh, how uh, each nationality um, or how each country scores in different attributes. So, for example, in acceleration, aggression, agility, and balance, for example. Okay, so what we can do is to create, for example, each uh, one map for each of those attributes, but then this will be like not really ergonomic and we will have to repeat uh, our map many times. So there is a better way to do it. So in terms of visualization, it takes just a little bit of more time and just a little bit more skills, but it's really easy to do. So to do that, I have to create uh, some parameters here and I have to create a new uh, calculations. So the first thing we need to do is to create an attribute. So for doing that, I have to write here um, just on the top. Uh, I am going to create a parameter and I'm going to name my parameter, for example. So this is a copy of what I'm doing, but so just call it attribute of test. So what I want to say is that it's a chain of characters or a chain of value and that is a list. Okay, so what I want to do here is that I want to create uh, a list of all the attributes that I want to change in my map. Okay, so I'm going to use, for example, one for acceleration. Uh, one for aggression. Uh, so you have to be sure that you are using the right um, spelling and that you are using caps as and as is in the list. So another way to do it is that you can create, uh, for example, a, a CSV file with all the attributes you want to create here and just uh, add them um once you you copy it and then add them from from your from your computer and so it's easier but i'm doing it the long way okay so you just add here uh all the values of uh, the variables and attributes that you want to be able to change in your map um so i i already created one so that's why i'm not created so this is how it looks so you see, I have added here uh, aggression, agility, balance, bulk control, composure, curve. And I could add more, but I, I just wanted to, to focus on those. So this is our first step. Now we have to create a new uh, calculation. So we are going to create a new uh, calculation field. So we create one. And we are going to call it um, attribute. Uh, average measure. Okay, so this is because uh, what we created here has to be uh, linked to our variables here. So it's something like it's a way to call a variable. So this is for when the user is going to select one of these attributes in the list, then uh, Tableau is going to call. So with this uh, uh, formula, this code here, uh, Tableau is going to call the right variable in my table otherwise it will be zero so i have to i give a name and then i start my code so so this is the code that you need so you just uh, start with a case so the case is uh, we're going to use our parameter here attribute which is called attribute so you just type case attribute and then you are going to uh, say that when the user selects acceleration, then do the average or, or calculate the average of our variable here, acceleration. Uh, and this for every uh, variable in the list. Okay, so you need to be sure that your um, that your uh, variable here is well written, otherwise uh, Tableau is not going to recognize. So once you have this case, then you have to end. So once you finish, and otherwise it's not going to be valid. 
Okay, so I have everything here and I just click OK. So I have my uh, new measure here, attribute measure. And now I have to create another for the label. Okay, so it means that uh, every time I choose one of these attributes or the user choose one of these attributes, I have to be able to see which attributes is are we talking about because here I'm going to just have the measure. So I have to create another uh, field, calculation field. So I do the same thing. Okay, and now I'm going to call it attribute label. Oops. And I'm going to apply the code, but I already created, so I'm going to show you how it looks like. Um, so it's here. Uh, so the gain, I'm going to use case. So in this case, it's the same. It's almost the same code as the one before, but uh, here what I just need is to convert the uh, value, the text value that I had in the list to the text value that I want to label each of my variables. So I'm just going to put when uh, acceleration in quotes, then acceleration in quotes, and this for each of the variable on my list, and then I end the program and I say, okay. Okay, so now that we have this, I just need to take nationality, right? And I'm going to put it on the, uh, on the box. So I'm going to show you. So I need to take nationality and then longitude and uh, latitude is going to be created uh, automatically. Then then I'm going to first thing is that I have to tell uh, Tableau, so here in attribute, I am going to ask to uh, show the parameter. So I will have the parameter here so I can play and choose the parameter I want. So I say show parameter. So if I don't show it, I have this. So then if I say show, I'll have it here and I can change. You see, I can change from the different uh, variables. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to use my attribute and I'm going to put it here in color. So I want that uh, the map color changes according to uh, the score of the attribute that I selected. So uh, now that I have this, I'm going to add uh, my label. So when I so I can see exactly what is the attribute that I'm seeing here and that I can see the value. So I'm going to add the label and I'm going to put it on the information here. So now if you see, if I go through each of the countries, I will have uh, the nationality, of course, so the country, uh, the attribute that I'm looking at right now and the average of that attribute. So I can see that, for, for example, Kazakhstan, its uh, aggression score is 58.67. And I can change uh, attribute here and the card will, the, the map will be dynamic. So if I see balance changes, uh, crossing and so on. Um, I can change also the color. So if I don't like a blue, I just can tell whatever color I want. So you have a lot of automatic colors here and you can just, you can also uh, give uh, ex scales to your colors, but I prefer to have a continuum. And then you'll see your changes. Okay, so this is for our first video on how to make the analysis on a geographical analysis or on our data from FIFA 2018. Uh, so keep watching to see the other videos on the other variables. So we will be seeing how to do box plots and how to um, make a dynamic uh, regressions and correlations between uh, variables. Thank you, bye bye.